हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज प्रोफेसर पेक्षा यादव फ्रॉम झूलेलाल इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन इंजीनियरिंग दिस ट्यूटोरियल इज ऑन बेसिक्स ऑफ सी मॉस इन दिस ट्यूटोरियल वी विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ सी मॉस कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री मेटल ऑक्साइड सेमी कंडक्टर हाउ सी मॉस टेक्नोलॉजी इमर्स over the other technology and caused really complex circuit designs possible with low power dissipation which was a major matter of concern in earlier technologies then we will be focusing on logical implementation of basic gates and functions using cmos technology basically cmos transistor provides two types of transistor n type transistor n mos and p type transistor p mos it is called complementary because electron and holes both carry current depending upon the doping done by n type and p type impurities a metal gate made of polysilicon is used in transistor body and a silicon dioxide is the material between gate and channel silicon semiconductor material is used mainly for fabrication of cmos transistor this is why the name complementary metal oxide semiconductor transistor is given basically the diagram shown below is of nmos transistor along with its symbol nmos is built directly on p substrate with n type of dopants given to the source and drain junction and normally n doped gate apply a positive voltage between gate and drain terminal with respect to the source for flow of electron between source and drain that is positive drain current similarly for pmos it is built in n well with p doped source and drain junction and n or p doped gate applying a negative voltage between gate and drain terminal with respect to the source electrons to float between drain to source that is negative drain current this was the overall functioning of cmos transistor which includes nmos and pmos next is our basic inverter designing using three technologies the technologies which we can use for inverter design are first is bjt rtl using a bjt transistor and a resistor we can design an inverter next is nmos technology and the last is cmos technology the basic operation of an inverter is to provide logic 0 for logic 1 input and logic 1 for logic 0 input amongst these three technologies the fastest operation is performed by bjt but the power dissipation is much higher and which is a major concern since to develop complex circuitry CMOS technology is used which uses nmos and pmos in combination where nmos works as a pull down network and pmos works as a pull up network which reduces the power dissipation efficiently now what does this pull up and pull down network do the working of pull up network as you can see the pull up network comprises of pmos transistors for logic 0 they behave as close switch and conducts the current and provide logic 1 that is vdd at the output 
pull down network it comprises of n mos transistor for logic 1 they behave as a close switch and pass the current to provide logic 0 or ground at the output using this concept one can design as many as logic gates and functions a basic implementation of nand gate can be performed by using these cmos transistors as you can see in the figure to get at output y is equals to a nand b we require two parallelly connected pmos transistors which are then serially connected to two serially connected nmos transistor where the inputs a and b are given to the input of pmos and nmos transistor and output y is taken as seen in the truth table if input a and b are zero the pull up network will be on and pull down network will be off since the output y is equals to 1 is achieved for input a and equals to 0 and b equals to 1 the pull down network is off and pull up network is on so the output y is equals to 1 is achieved for input a is equals to 1 and b is equals to 0 pull down network is again off and the pull up network is on therefore output y is equals to 1 for both the input a and b is equals to 1 the pull down network will be on and the pull up network will be off that is why the output will be fetched to ground value which is 0 hence by using cmos technology the implementation of nand gate becomes easy and the power dissipation gets re- reduced our next gate implementation is nor gate for nor gate as you can see the cmos transistor are connected in a way where the pmos transistor are connected serially and then the serially connected pmos transistor are connected to parallelly connected nmos the input a and b are given to the transistors pmos and nmos respectively for inputs a and b is equals to 0 the pull up network gets on and the pull down network gets off hence the output y is equals to 1 is fetched because of the pull up network getting on for the next input a equals to 0 b equals to 1 or vice versa a equals to 1 and b equals to 0 the pull down network will be on and the pull up network gets off that is why the output y is equals to 0 for a and b both the inputs equals to 1 the pull down network will be on and the pull up network will remain off therefore y is equals to 0 the main reason for implementing nor gate to achieve y is equals to a nor b was for only logic high signals the output will be zero and for only logic low signal input the output will be one and it is achieved therefore using cmos technology you can implement n number of functions logical functions and logical gates by using this pull up and pull down network hope you enjoyed this tutorial thank you for watching